the warts that I see on the external genital region of both male and females, I tend to sample one or two of them to make sure that these warts are not from cancer causing HPV. Hello everyone, welcome back to Fundamentals with Dr. Adobe Obasi. I'm a physician scientist board certified in dermatology and dermatopathology. In this video, I want to address a common complaint that I see in my clinic, which are having bumps in the external genital region. There are different reasons why bumps can form on the external genitalia, both in men and in women. And I'll go through some of the common ones. One of the most common reasons for bumps on the genital area are found in patients that tend to shave the area or use hair removing practices, waxing, plucking. And this is called folliculitis. When the hair follicle that the hair removal practice is trying to modify gets inflamed. There is a related condition called pseudofolliculitis, barbe, barbing, shaving. Pseudofolliculitis is when the hair follicle itself doesn't get inflamed, but as it grows out and it, um, gets stuck in the skin, it creates an inflammation bump there. And it's called ingrown hair in layman's terms. So there are different ways to address pseudofolliculitis barbie and or folliculitis um, that may require medications and just changing your shaving practices to best accommodate the sensitivity of your skin in the genital region. The second reason to have bumps in the area are from genital warts or genital molluscum. Warts are caused by the human papilloma virus infection of the skin and can occur on a lot of different sites on the body. When they're in the genital region, they tend to be acquired from sexual transmission. These warts can have a variety of morphologies, but very commonly they tend to stick out on the skin and have sort of a, a rough surface. Molluscum is a different type of virus called the molluscum pox virus, and it's also very common in kids um, on different parts of their body. It's called molluscum contagiosum because it's very contagious. It can spread very easily. Molluscum is also considered a sexually transmitted infection when it's in the genital region of adults. It is important to inform your partner if you're diagnosed with any of these conditions. There are many different types of human papilloma viruses. Some cause no human disease. Some cause benign non-cancerous growths on the skin, what we call warts. The warts can be the common wart that we see on fingers and different parts of the body. It can be genital warts that we see in external genital regions of patients or it can cause abnormal pap smears by infecting the cervix of females. The warts that I see on the external genital region of both male and females, I tend to sample one or two of them to make sure that these warts are not from cancer causing HPV, which I have seen in a couple of patients. And that changes the management because now we're dealing with a malignancy. Warts can also affect the perianal area and cause bumps in that area. For human papilloma virus infection of the genital region, it is important to know that the current infection that any, any patient is experiencing may not be related to their current sexual partner. It may have been related to a previous sexual partner and their immune system is no longer controlling that virus as adequately and that's why it's forming the growth. I do biopsy genital warts to make sure that they are not cancer causing warts because there are human papilloma viruses that can cause cancers on the cervix, on the vulva, on the penis. So penal cancers and vulvar cancers are commonly associated with the HPV virus infection. There are other reasons to have cancers in those areas. So it's always important to get any new or changing growth checked. Molluscum tends not to cause any malignant transformation of the cells, 
So it's just more of a nuisance that tends to spread and should be treated. Another reason why patients can have bumps in the external genital region, both in male and females, is from calcium deposits, what we call calcinosis cutis, or cysts that form in the skin of the external genital region. Both of these are non-cancerous, they're benign, they can be a nuisance and they can get painful as well as get inflamed, so they can be treated if necessary. There are patients that can have tons of these in their external genital region and it can be distressing. Finally, the fifth reason why patients can have bumps in the external genital region is from a condition where the blood vessels kind of overgrow a little bit and form these bumps called angiokeratoma of Fordyce. These tend to happen on the scrotum of male patients or on the vulva of female patients. And they form these purplish one millimeter small bumps on these skin um, surfaces. Angiokeratoma of Fordyce can be treated. You can see your dermatologist and they can use very dis various destructive techniques to treat these bumps. In the same fashion, calcinosis cutis or calcium deposits in the skin and cysts can be effectively treated or removed by a physician, including your dermatologist. And now for male patients, I want to discuss one more condition that can result in bumps in the genital region, which are called pearly penile papules. These tend to occur right at the base of the head of the penis what we call the coronal sulcus. And they tend to be these small, tiny little bumps that kind of line up around the corona of the penis. These are non-cancerous, they are benign. They tend to be more of a cosmetic or aesthetic issue for patients, and sometimes they can get irritated. So you can see a dermatologist to talk about different plans for treatment. Please subscribe to this channel, click on the notification bell, as well as the like button, and comment below on this topic as well as future topics you would like me to discuss. You're all fundamentally awesome. I hope you have a wonderful day and God bless.